Yep, there's something wrong here. I did not finish. Do, 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 do. There we go. And 85. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is me, JP, and today we are doing. Wait. Hey! Cut! <laughs> I mean it! Good. <laughs> Uh, this is me, GP, and this is number, um, go away, go away, yeah, 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 um, this is number 85 with me, JP, and today we are doing another geometry problem, and let's get right to it. So, it says, find the missing length of each right triangle shown, be, shown below, which I need to draw. So, we have these And, okay, so I'm trying to find uh, the missing length. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we will use the Pythagorean theorem, which we've learned before, but this way we kind of make it more clearer and we will see a certain pattern that I will reveal later. So this one, um, this is three squared plus four squared is equal to something squared. Um, this is nine plus, uh, 16 is equal to x squared. Oh wait, I've seen this before. This is 25, therefore the thingy is 5 is equal to x. Boom, that was an easy one. Okay, let's get right to it. Did so you explain what is a Pythagorean triples? I'm getting there. Oh, okay. Anyway. Oh. There's something wrong here. Wait, so this is the same thing. That's multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. Wait a second, this is something that we call a um, Pythagorean triple which I was getting to. Um, so basically, um, basic Orient triples are, it's still a right triangle even though you multiply this by a certain num this by a certain number and that by a certain number and that by a certain number. So it, we get pretty much the same results without having to do the Pythagorean theorem thingy all over again. So this is kind of an easier thingy to see. So because all this is multiplied by two, which I'll call this uh, times two, um, therefore this is eight. And that's 16, so that's times 4, that's 5 times 4. Okay, so this is times 4. That's 3 times 4 is 12. Can't really see it. Let me... It's 12. Okay, and this is times 1, 1, 1, 111. So this one's kind of easy. 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. This is 5, 5, 5. Boom. This is pretty easy, but there is, this is part A. This is part A of the problem. I need to do part B. Sorry, guys. We can't do a great math video this quick. Um, let's see. Given that A, B, and C is a Pythagorean triple, is 2A, 2B, 2C a Pythagorean triple? How about N, A, N, B, and N, C, where N is a positive integer? I'm not sure if you got that. If you didn't get that, just please reload the video and, um, sorry, not reload the video. Um... Read the video. If not, and you're too lazy, just read this. It says, given that A, B, that, and stuff. Stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to do a ton of equations. So, I am going to erase all of this. I want to erase this. I never erase this. Um, okay. So, let's get to it. So, we're trying to prove that A squared plus B squared. So, go to C squared. We know we're trying to prove that 2... A squared plus. Oh. oh, wait, wait, wait. 2A squared plus 2B squared. 2B or not to be. Is equal to C squared. But for now, we're trying to prove it, so we honestly don't know what it is. So we're trying. We All we know is this, okay? So that's all we know. So we first simplify. What is 2A times 2A? That is 4. <coughs> Excuse me. 2a squared plus 4b squared is equal to unknown. I could put x, but I, I kind of like the question mark better. Um, okay, so we can um, simplify here. 
squared plus b squared. And, oh wait, I already see something. a squared plus b squared, that's equal to c squared. So we can do 4 is equal to c squared is equal to question mark. Therefore, it is 4c squared. And then it ultimately equals to 2c squared, which is what we're trying to find. So, boom, shakalaka, this is what it is. It's equal to this. We already proved something, but that's only half of the question. Can you put a different color because I cannot see very well the red? Okay, I'll start doing green then. Yeah, okay, this is good working. Um, okay, now we're trying to put as if there's n. Okay, so n. Uh, what about the parentheses? So, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get to this. So there's n, a squared plus n b squared is equal to we're trying to make it to n c squared but we for now again we don't really know it it is question mark so let's get cracking what is n a n a so that's n squared a squared plus n squared b squared is equal to the question mark the unknown we can factor that out so it's a squared plus b squared. Boom, we already know something again. It is the a squared, it's equal to c squared. So that is equal to c squared because that's all we know. We only know a squared is equal, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So we don't know what it is. Um, then we put like things together, c squared, c squared question mark. Um, then we have n c squared. And that is how you prove certain state, certain um, things. So both of those answers would be yes. Just to double check with you. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And what that one means. more lesson. What that means. Oh, that means. Um, that means. Yeah, it's, it was that means it, yes, it is. It is still a Pythagorean triple. So no matter what. So. Can yeah. you give some example? I mean, you already got. Dude, I, I know I have. Um, for. Five. Um, so there are these three. That means so this is a Pythagorean th triple. Pythagorean triple. That means this triples is the same. The yeah. S. So no matter what I multiply the sides by. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So oh yeah, triples. Um. No matter what I multiply by, I could even multiply a hundred thousand, whatever. It could be n three times three, four, uh, n times four, and n times five. It doesn't matter. This is also a Pythagorean triple. Okay. This is pretty much what it's trying to say here. And that's pretty much it. If you did like this video, please do subscribe below. And also uh, like also below, please. Thank you, and see you next time.